On November 10th, Cryptic is teasing us with new loadouts capabilities. Channel subscription is also available on my awesome channel. If you want to support the content that I'm making and me personally, this is how you can do this. Now I'm here at the triple testing server hoping that Cryptic has released the new loadout system in uh, the triple testing server for us to test and uh, take a look at it. But unfortunately, they are not to that point yet. And I'm just going to uh, give you guys a little bit of a rundown to understand what the loadout is all about. Now, as a system, this is not something that they introduced currently. This system, the loadout system by itself, has been introduced for a long, long, long time, but it's not working as intended. And I'm going to explain this in a little bit later on. But to give you guys an idea of what changes are going to come, I'm going to head over to the webpage of Cryptic or at least Star Trek Online and read all of the changes that they're doing to this particular system. Like I mentioned, to get the right loadout, that's what Ambassador Kale has teased us a little bit. This is a system that they are currently have been working on. Now I'm going to read the information that is here provided by Ambassador Kale and Cryptic's development team. It's not a lot, so I'm just going to read it all out. There is no need for me to summarize it because it's just a little bit. So anyway, uh, let's continue down this information that they provided us. Any captain worth his uh, salt knows the value of being prepared. You're no different, and it's about to get even easier to have loadout. Yeah, to have the loadout you seek for any mission that you are about to face. Coming very soon to PC and soon after on the console, we're making some changes to how loadout works. First, your space traits are now part of the loadouts. If you got just the right setup for graphic kills, you can save it and have it ready to go on your favorite TFOs popping up off, uh, in the random queues. But that's not all. We separated the active reputation traits into active ground and also active uh, reputation space traits. So space for or at least the active reputation for ground and the active reputation for space are now separate. You can actually see it right here, space and ground. It's a separate entity. You can actually slot in uh, more available traits. Instead of having to choose four or five, uh, no matter whatever your mission uh, puts you on the bridge of or in the trenches, uh, you can set up for both and keep it the way you like. If you unlock the fifth trait, you unlock both ground and space trait. Basically talking about this system right here. And finally, for the fans of the true end game loadouts will now remember when you enable or disable the visuals of your ship's equipment. Uh, the lo uh, love the benefit of a competitive engine but you don't like the way it looks. Equip to disable the visuals, save your loadout and never think of it again. Be your best con and go into battle prepared for any eventuality. Captains. Now I'm going to head over to the game and show you guys how the current system is actually working. So the only difference that they made right here is you have the active ground reputation and you have the active space reputation. These are basically uh, currently just one of them. So you have to choose between ground reputation system, all of the traits or active space reputation, just uh, the same uh, traits, but then separate for space and ground. Now you can basically lock them out or at least implement them in a ground on space. So let me get to uh, to the game and show you how the current system works. Now we are in space right now and this is how the current uh, loadout system works uh, without them having to upgrade this uh, particular system. Now I have here two different loadouts. One being the escort because uh, I'm using uh, dual heavy cannons or at least this type of configuration with also a deflector, impulse, warp and a shield. These are the Romulan shields. Very good, very nice. And I've also changed my bridge officer uh, this one, the, the second power right here, that is something that we are going to change with a different loadout. So that one has cannon rapid fire with this particular configuration, with this escort. Now, if you want to save it up in uh, what kind of like, you know, different configuration that you want to, there is a drop down button up here. You can have a new loadout slot. Now, currently, I only have two because that's what you're going to get. At the default, every captain is going to get two different loadouts in his uh, ship. If you want more, there is a buy loadout slot available right here for purchasing. Obviously, they need to make money out of this uh, game, so they are asking you to pay a little bit of Zen if you want more loadout. Currently, I only have two, like I said, the escort configuration and the beam configuration. Now, beam, I just put up a couple of beams and also different impulse uh, shields, deflector, and also a warp core, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on. So this is how the current system works. So yeah, I've chosen beam right here. 
and you can see that the configuration has changed from uh, what did I had uh, cannon rubber fire now it is chemo because that actually works very good with beams and all that good stuff so if we change back to escort you can also you can see it is cannon rubber fire has been uh, has been changed back towards original skill ability that I have now this system works uh good uh, i'm not gonna say good because it's kind of like broken and nobody's really using it and for the reasons that i'm going to mention in a little bit but they are going to make changes to this system now hopefully they are going to change this system like we the players actually want the system to be now speaking of one pet peeve that i have every time you're going to change the loadout of your ship every item that is going to be changed is going to be given in your inventory bag Back at you so right here I have a configuration escort if I go over to beams everything has been plopped up in my inventory so every time you're going to change something all of the items that are going to be changed are going to come back in your inventory now I don't know about you but as you guys can see I'm kind of running out of inventory right here so putting everything back and you know in my inventory is not something that I personally like because it's going to fill up all of my slots that's not something that I really am fond of now the second part that I know that the majority of you guys are not liking that's why you are you guys are not using this particular system is at the skill trait and more specifically the specialization so if you're going to do any ground endeavors and you're going to use this system this loadout for your ground endeavors you basically need your specialization to be something that is going to be very beneficial for you for ground let's say commando you got something that you're really interested in and you build your 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 captain or all of your uh, traits and abilities are enhanced by this particular specialization you kind of want this specialization Specialization to be for ground. Currently, it does not switch this specialization if you are in space or if you are in ground, it is just bound in this primary and secondary specialization the same goes for if you are into space now i'm talking about ground ground commando is very good for ground everything right here is beneficial for ground but if you go into space combat commando is not something that you want to have selected on and the same goes for pilot there is nothing up here that is beneficial if you are going to be doing ground endeavors. If you are going to have combat in ground, there is nothing up here that in the pilot specialization is very good that is going to enhance your ground abilities. So this is also something, or at least the majority of you guys have a pet peeve of whenever you're going to do different loadouts right here for ground and for space, it does not change your specialization. This specialization tree is going to remain primary and secondary whenever you're you're going to let it for ground and for space now like i mentioned commando is not good for space and also pilot i have to select the right one pilot is not good for ground now that are that are two pet peeves why this particular system is not really good or at least currently good enough for us to um to play around with or at least use in our in our endeavors that we are going to do in in star trek online now hopefully with this new system they have something in the works to change this because I definitely do not want my inventory to be full every time I switch loadouts and I also would live would love to have different specializations if they can have if they can fix this the loadouts to be loaded up with the current configuration everything that I have selected on including the like, devices and all that stuff that's going to be amazing uh, for ground and for space that is definitely something that I'm looking forward to if done correctly obviously these two pet peeves that I have if if they can uh, remove these restrictions or this 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 negative part i would love to use this system more often anyway that's it for this video would love to see you guys on the comment section and also on the next video for now take care later